Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this finds you well and everything going as you would have it. I would like to share with you some words from Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. They say, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Love those words. Pray with me. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for holding us up in your righteous right hand. We thank you for never leaving us. Lord, we thank you for the gift of your son and the salvation that we have through him. And we pray this through his holy name. Amen. So we have completed chapter seven of um, our textbook that is all about volume and surface area of geometric prisms. You have done a beautiful job calculating the volume of cylinders and cones and spheres and the surface area of rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, and yesterday, cylinders. There's a lot of formulas to know and memorize and use, but you can do it. So tomorrow we're going to have a test. You are gonna have a test. And I am going to give you a reference sheet that has all of the formulas on them. I'm going to expect that you use the reference sheet on your test. Um, I'm going to expect that you can use your calculator well, leaving in the measures that you, as you type them in, don't round as you go. Leave it all in, round the answer to the nearest 10. Um, and so let me show you the reference sheet that I have attached for you in Google Classroom. You can print it. You, if you don't have a printer, you can take a screenshot of it. Again, I'm expecting that you use it, okay? So the volume and surface area reference sheet that I've typed up includes all of the formulas that we've used in chapter seven. We began remembering how to calculate circumference. We said circumference is equal to pi times the diameter of a circle. And we know that two radii equals the diameter. So this is the formula that we most often use. Circumference equals two pi r. We also remembered how to calculate the area of a circle we said area was pi r squared. And then the rest of the page is separated into two parts. The left side, volume of this volume, all of these are volume. The right side, surface area. Make sure you're using the right formula, okay? So volume of a cylinder, we said volume equals big B, times H, where big B is the area of the base. And for a cylinder, the base is a circle. And so volume is equal to pi r squared times H, where the height of H is the height of the cylinder. Volume of a cone, V equals one third big B H, where again, big B is the area of the base. So one third times, since the base is a circle, pi r squared, times h, the height of the cone. Volume of a sphere, four-thirds, pi r cubed. Uh, be sure and cube the radius there. Then on the other side is surface area. We said surface area was pH plus 2b. P is the perimeter of the base. H is the height of the um, prism, and there's two bases, one on either end, and so it depends on what the base is, how to calculate the area. So we talked about surface area of a rectangular prism. Uh, formula is the same. 
So surface area is the perimeter of the base times the height plus two times the length times the width of the base. Then surface area of a triangular prism, same formula, but the perimeter is not of a rectangle, but of the triangle. So perimeter of the triangle times the height of the prism plus, don't forget that plus, two times one half times the length of the triangle base times the height of the triangle. I didn't know how to put that any, any more clearly, but I, I showed this to you several times. So if this is the base, this triangle right here is the base, um, this is the length of the base, little b, length of the, the base of the triangle. The height is going to be the perpendicular measure. And sometimes um, they are, uh, for a right triangle, they would be side lengths. So a right triangle where this um, angle right here is a 90 degree angle, it would be the length of this side times the length of this side. So if you have questions about that, please let me know before tomorrow. Then surface area of a cylinder, this one is the tricky one, I think, where it's the lateral area plus two big B, where B, big B is still area of the base. So the lateral area is the circumference of the circular base. So two pi r, that's the circumference times the height or length of the cylinder, height of the cylinder, plus two circles, area of a circle, pi r squared. So um, I expect that you will use that reference sheet on the test tomorrow. We, I'm giving you a study guide today in Google Classroom. I'm also going to give you the answers so that you can work that, those problems out and check your work. If you have questions, be sure and ask. Visit my Zoom session or email me. I am always available on email and I can Zoom with you individually if you like. I want to help you. I really, really, really want to help you. Okay. Um, Y'all are going to do great. I hope you have a great evening. God bless you.